Hey guys, um, Atheist Bricks here, and um, I already pre-recorded uh, my Russian artillery unit review, but so yeah, it's gonna be kind of a weird video. Um, I'll be uploading this video on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at the least, and I'll probably be uploading the um other video on Thursday or Friday, or maybe Saturday. But um, the 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 one that's coming later is um will be the one explaining it all. I'll be uploading this video first, and so, um, yeah, so today I'll be showcasing my custom Pack 40 German anti-tank gun, um, cannon, and so, um, yeah, guys, um, this is, of course, my, you know, this is not my main background, but, you know, whatever, um, so, this is, um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but my, um, my, um, like, artillery units and my, um, anti-tank, um, cannons and, what not those are not in a 135th scale like my stug is um and also i want to apologize sincerely guys um on the stug video it was longer than it should have been it was way longer than it should have been i want to apologize on that and from now on i want to try to keep my videos under 15 minutes long if i can with the exception of a couple like you know maybe maybe some important updates that'll be pretty important to get over 15 minutes and maybe some like mock reviews, maybe some mocks, you know, whatnot. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. But um, yeah. But so, like I said before, there's not a 135th scale. Um, like my other vehicles are. There's not a 135th scale because, for one thing, it wouldn't be very easy to find anywhere the me the exact measurements of what the the anti tank cannons like. And so that's why you know I don't even bother to look because I know it's not going to be there. Um, with the exception of a few significant ones like the B4 and the Flak 88, those will be in a, most likely be in a 135th scale. But other than that, like this, will not is not a 135th scale. Um, minifigure scale wise, like looking at pictures of people next to Pack 38, this is in the ballpark. It's a little bit big, but you know, whatever. So here's just a minifigure for scale size. I'm gonna put them back here. Um. So, um, yeah, let's just gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a quick, um, summary of it, and then after that, we're gonna get on the review of the thing. So, basically, this is, um, the Pack 37 which Ryan was told produced. It was starting to become outdated, and so the workmen, um, workmen, whatever, how you pronounce that, they, um, oh, they, um, uh, they demanded a new anti-tank cannon, and so that's what they did. They, um, they, um, Rymatol, they produced a, um, they started working on a new, um, anti-tank cannon, and fortunately they came up with the Pack 38 which is, of course, you know, this, and so the, um, and it's very successful, it was, um, it was very successful against the, um, uh, during, during the Eastern Campaign, like, the very, um, first part of it, when, um, against the T-26s in the BT series, they were very successful, they could easily knock those out. But when um, the Soviets introduced their new, um, their new, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the T-34s, the KV-1s, and the KV-2s, um, these could not penetrate them as easily. They could penetrate them, but, no, no, they couldn't penetrate them. I think, like, I think they could only penetrate T -th T-34s in the back at, like, almost point-blank range. So they could not penetrate them very easily. And so they, um, Marmontol, I think they, I believe they actually, um, up upgraded the gun a little bit and they modified it and then they um and then they do design to design a new shell which is a hollow charge projectile which you know is a devastating shell if you know anything about that uh, I'm not gonna describe it but you know it's a very devastating shell especially for tanks and whatnot um you know the Russian anti-tank um rifles which they use a lot uh, the PTR D41 and the PTRS41, those use hollow, ch hollow charge projectiles. And that's why um, side skirts were added to um, tanks like the Stug and the Panzer IV. That's why side skirts were added because of the hollow charge projectiles. And so, um, yeah, but these were, um, these were commonly, these were like really heavy. They weighed about a ton, so that's really heavy, especially for an um, anti tank cannon. And so they had to be um, towed by a, um, by a, uh, a huge tractor, and so they um commonly got put on like half tracks. They, um German soldiers would, like modify half tracks, and then they put the Pack 38s 
on the back of the half track and pretty much make a mobile pack 38 which was very deadly and that was pretty much one of their main uses for the pack 38 which they put it on the back of half tracks of modified um tractor units and whatnot and so about 9,800 of these um or, um anti tank cannon units were produced and so um yeah so like I said before this is a minifigure scale size and we're gonna um check out the front so here we are like the wheels and whatnot so that way the um soldiers can you know maneuver it and whatnot um we have the you know the other wheel on the side we have the bullet shields right here to protect the crew from bullets um we have a muzzle brake right here of the cannon itself and we have like a little aim sight that I added and then right here we have like the mud guards I guess not really mud guards but on here on the wheels and so um yeah if we look at the other side, you know, here's a better look at the muzzle brake, the cannon, um, the wheels and whatnot, and then here's the um, the recoil action thingies. And I don't know what their exact what their like actual name is, but basically, they're what they're supposed to do is when the cannon fire when the cannon fires, it's supposed to since it has wheels, that way the soldiers can maneuver it. Um, when it fires, the um, it can what should we call it? It can um. Like, you know, it doesn't, it keeps it from, the can from, like, flying backwards and, you know, hurting or potentially killing the crew. And so, um, yeah. So we got those, one on each side. Here's part of the cannon, and then we're just going to look at the back side. So here are the, these things again, and then, you know, we have the part of the cannon. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. So we have part of the cannon. And then um, after that, we have the the loading mechanism right here, and this is basically where the you know the crew loads in a shell, uh, wherever the shell went, I lost it. There it is. So you know here's a Brickham shell, and you know basically this is the part right here where the um, the crew can like load in the shell and then fire. So can't really fit in there. You know, what else, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then you got a little aim sight right there. So the crew can potentially see where they're shooting at. And then the other side is pretty much the same. And then, you know, that's really that. So that's really all there is to, um, you know, showcase of the Pack 38 um, so, um, yeah, like I said before, it's not perfect minifigure, not, it's not perfect 135th scale, but it is, you know, minifigure scale-wise, it is, you know, in the ballpark somewhere. Um, so that's really all there is left to showcase, I guess. So, um, yeah, if you guys, um, like the video they saw, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment section below. And if you want to be informed when I upload a video, um, and punch that subscribe button. And so, um, yeah, guys. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. My um, throat's a little dry from like talking and whatnot. But um, yeah. So if you want to be informed when I upload a video, then I'll uh, punch that subscribe button and check out my channel for other cooler videos, like you know, review on my Stug. Um, like like the review on my Stug. Um, you know, my mocks. I have some pretty awesome mocks. And so um, yeah, guys. I cannot wait until 2016, cause that way I can start some of my new newer series and whatnot. Um, and the reason why I'm not studying them now is for one thing, you know, I need money for it, and second thing, you know, it'd be more official, I guess, but, um, so, um, yeah, guys, that's, um, really all I guess. So, this is, um, Atheist Bricks here, signing off.